hello everyone welcome in welcome in and today's video is to show you what we have going on in our science area as we prepare for our gardening season and the children they have been gardening they have been pulling up weeds and we've been doing a lot of different activities when it comes to gardening and preparing for outdoors my daughter did this experiment with the children and what they did was to wrap some paper towel uh, some peas um, beans peas into a paper towel and then they had it into a little container like this this is what they, one of the containers that they did the um, experiment in and then they wet the um, paper towel but what is going on inside you can see that the peas it's growing but the children weren't able to see it from here so what i did was to put some in a petri dish and then we also have some in a bag that the children are able to observe more than they are because this one they will have to wait until it shoots up and it's going to shoot up looking like this but right i really wanted to, them to see this part of it first <clears throat> so that's what it is and if you're thinking of doing this activity you can just put it in a um, one of those ziploc bags you can put some paper towel wet a paper towel and put some seeds in there like you know preferably like beans you know if you have some red beans or black beans in your um, cabinet you can do that with them yeah so that's an, an activity here we've been also chitting a lot of potatoes so this is a process where uh you know you see like the little eyes on your potato here and then what you can do is to put it like into a little um egg box and put it cover the egg box put it on your kitchen table your windowsill and in a couple weeks maybe two three weeks you'll st start seeing that the potatoes are actually growing so this is what we have here and to further <clears throat> the experiment i actually have some that i put in a container already and as you can see they're growing All right so this is what we have here and then in this one i have like a sweet potato that is in water and it's getting roots we put it back in the water right here so this is how we do it like put a little bit of toothpick around it and this is what is happening to it already. I have some corn in water, some corn in a petri dish too, and that's just more potatoes. And then last year when we were in the forest, we had gotten some um, acorns and one of them grew as big as this. And then we have some one here and then another one here. That started to grow but it's not growing fully as yet and we're still in spring so I can't really put it outside as yet so this is what we've been observing and we did this all winter um, this is a pumpkin that we had gotten from our garden um, last year and it is still fully intact you know I was gonna put it in a compost bin but I'm like uh, the kids can still use it to do some observation so let us just stay here in their science area for now and that's it um, that we have growing. Oh, and we are going to be planting some onions uh, tomorrow. Uh, it was kind of raining today. We did play in the rain today. But um, I want us to um, do a full-blown planting tomorrow. So we're going to plant these onions. I bought a bag of onions. Let me show you. <clears throat> I bought a bag of onions from Home Depot. So we will be putting that into the ground tomorrow yeah today's the 17th of april it's still cold here because today we really had to put on a lot of layers but even so you can do your activities inside and just in case you're wondering if you can do this while you have like do a garden a garden so to speak while you have a small um say you have a small child care inside of an apartment or a condo you can still do it and as you can see this is right here at my windowsill yeah and that's the outside so you can start something like this and then you can bring it to like a container on your patio and i have a full-blown description of how i do this um on my website and also how the process of chitting um, potatoes or growing potatoes and potatoes can be grown in containers 
So I just wanted to let you know that this is something that you can absolutely do with the children in your child care. Yeah. And then if you're looking for a little book that you can use with the children, you can use this one. It starts with a seed and it's a beautiful book um, that gives the children an idea of how things start, you know, and they can get to the full understanding that the life of a plant begins with a seed and is the seed is the beginning and the end of a plant it starts with the seed and it ends with the seed all right so again i just wanted to show you a full-blown um idea of what's going on in our little science area that we're going to take outside and something that you can absolutely do with the children in your child care and now that the maple pods are falling down too you can also extend their learning all right have a great one and i'll catch you on my next video over now miss sue